Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Progress with number 6 in the series End Games. This one is about the famous breakthrough. The position here on the board is the most famous breakthrough. If you've seen it, fine, and if you haven't, welcome to the wonderful world of the pawn breakthrough. Because white can win in this position even though material is very reduced and symmetrical and equal. And there's two factors because uh, that win that white can win, and one of them is that his pawns are further advanced than blacks, and the second factor is that the kings are far removed. How does white win here? Once you see it, you will never forget. The only way to win for white is by playing the pawn, the middle pawn up. G6 is the winning move because you have to take because otherwise white will take himself and promote to a queen. So you cannot allow one of those moves, so you have to take, and it doesn't really matter which, with, which pawn you take. Let's take with the f-pawn, for example. The h-pawn will give the same solution, because here it's crucial that you now play h6. And why do you need to play that move? Because, again, you threaten to take on g7 and then g8, and black pawns are way too slow. So you have to take that pawn, you have to take on h6, and if you do that, we have sacrificed two pawns with white, then white wins with f6, and that pawn is unopposed, it will go to f7, it will go to f8, and these pawns have a long way to go, so once white queens, he will clean up the black pawns, and wins the game. So again from the start, g6 is the only move, you have to take, and then h6, you have to take, and then f6, and you win the game. The pawn breakthrough. Let's look at another one. In this position, white can win as well, but now the kings are a lot closer. The black king is closer to the action, but still there's a breakthrough possible. How can we do that? Well, if we looked at the previous example, then we would say, well, b6 would be winning because after taking there is a6 and that would indeed if the black king was far away but now black can just play king c6 is close enough to the a pawn and actually black will win this position so the same trick as in the previous position does not work but still we have a breakthrough and still we can win with white the solution if you want to look for yourself put the video on pause the solution is to play a6 first and why does that win? Well, you have to get your king closer, so, so king d6 is a logical move. And only now do we play b6. Because if you take that pawn, there is a7, and the king is not close enough to stop the a pawn. And if after b6 you play king c6, everything looks fine for black, then suddenly we have b takes a7 and yes the king is close enough but it's not allowed to go to b7 because the a pawn is covering that square so white wins after all it's again a breakthrough with the king the black king closer so we play a6 and after king d6 we play b6 you cannot take and bring in the king closer doesn't work either because of b takes a7 and the a pawn will become a new queen. White wins. Very nice. Let's look at a final example. This position, why to play and win, if you want to look and try and solve this position for yourself, put the video on pause. This is more complex, but again, the theme is breakthrough. How can we win this? We win by playing the first move, king f7. That's not so difficult to find. We restrict the black king. If the king now goes to h8, then we just clean up black pawns with king g6, king g8, take, king f7, take, and this is an easily winning king and pawn end game. So let's go back. After king f7, we do not play king h8, we play the only other move that black has, and that's h5. And now g takes h5, winning that pawn does not work show you the variation we have king h6 
king f6 king takes king f5 king h4 king g6 king takes king takes and this position very much looks like a draw two bear kings okay so after king f7 and h5 we cannot take that pawn that will not win us the game but we have and there comes the breakthrough motif again we have h4 looks a bit dangerous because black can take and run to queen but actually it does win for white white has nerves of steel let's first look why taking one of those pawns does not work let's take on g4 first i show you the variation white takes on g5 and we have a pawn race but white is quicker because if he gives check along the way g3 g6 check king has to play g7 g2 g8 queen and here we stop because white is controlling the g1 square and wins okay so back to that position after h4 so we cannot take on g4 what if we take on h4 let's look at that variation then we have g5 h3 g6 check crucial that is check king h6 g7 h2 g8 queen and now black can queen but he gets checkmated straight away so after h4 we have now seen that taking either of those pawns does not work for black so all that's left is bring the king closer king h6 now the only move that wins for white is king f6 and the variations are very much similar to what we just saw let's look at one of them g takes h4 then we have g5 check king h7 and now very important is to not keep running with the pawn if you play g6 the king goes to g8 and covers the promotion square you have to play here king f7 to keep the promotion square in white hands h3 g6 check king has to play g7 h2 queen queen and as we just saw in the previous variation queen g6 is checkmate so from the start the main variation king f7 h5 h4 the breakthrough motif you cannot take any of those pawns but king h6 doesn't work either because of king f6 and then doesn't matter which pawn we take let's say we take on h4 then we see that because of the check both queens promote on the same move but queen g6 is checkmate and white wins and i hope you learned something about the breakthrough motif in the king and pawn endgame if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the chess 2 progress channel please leave a comment and if you like the video it would be great if you could share it on social media you also may want to check out my chess 2 impress channel the link is in the description box this is rick from chester progress thank you for watching